that came in here in 1972. Okay. But actually, it was 71, I run extra some, but 72, I, I took the ball and I'll run. Okay. And uh, anyhow, uh, I'd run a tear, let's see, probably a season or two. I don't remember what year the piston rod broke, but we uh, had bad coal in there. We went through a couple of years. It it took both of us to fire the daggone thing. You one far to get aggravated and wore out, and then we'd trade off, you know. And then I'd fire for a while. We usually Danny Seldom Reds. He's farming for me. He would he would fire to Whittaker, and then. Then I would take it from Whittaker to the water hole, mm -hmm. and then he would go on to Mall Knob. Well, we traded off and, and uh, got up there at uh, Malpost 6, where the overlook is. It just pulled up around that curve, and that pretty hard pull. We just had one mm -hmm. engine. And uh, and then you go out there, and about the time you go through that cut, it flattens off out there. And, mm -hmm. and boy, uh, we just pulled up around there, and and turned out across that flat, more just like sound like the whole side of the engine flew off. <laughs> and uh, 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 I jumped and smacked the air on, and we stopped and got out. And and where the key goes through the piston rod, uh, mm -hmm. and right to top edge of that their key, that's where that piston broke off and went up and slammed into the head and busted the head in five pieces. Mm -hmm. But if it had happened. Just back about a hundred yards further when we was pulling in that curve, cause you pull about wide open there up to you tip to that there mm -hmm. dip there, it it blowed the piston clear out of it. I heard Todd Galford tell about one time he blowed one out of number one, and said said he he bet that piston went 50 or 60 feet right in there. Said it was right in the heart of the hall. Said it just come out and blowed the head off. And, Throwed the shield right back over the cab and piston went on up in there and come down in the swamp. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, anyhow, we that thing blowed out of there. Well, uh, he said, "Well, I have to get another engine up here." I said, "No, you just wait a little bit." I said, "We take her back to the shop." And but that that's um, that's what uh, of working with an engineer worked at something all his life could tell you how to fix stuff to get back to shop because they had to get the thing in mm -hmm. if, if it's any way. So I got out there and worked it loose and took the rod down and blocked the valve and everything and took the blades and everything off of it. So we brought her back in on two cylinders. Two. Yeah. Just back, just backed up from there and went back Yeah, down. we just went back to cast. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah wasn't no going on. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, that that's one of the biggest calamities reckon I ever had. But anyhow, we put her in the shop and, and uh, I went in there and, and uh, uh, we had to get a get a head head cast for it. And uh, we went out in the parts, yep. parts pile out there and found a piston. Ah, yeah, we right. busted the piston, you know, in about sure. five pieces. Had to make new rings for it. Uh, Where would you usually go to get part new parts cast when that happened? Uh, I think went down to uh, Thistle Foundry down Bluefield. Okay. Cast. And what you done, they just cast a big block of steel up. I mean, uh, not steel, but cast on. Mm -hmm. Then the machinist had to turn turn it all make out, it, you know, make, 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 make the new pit, the, the, the head for the, it. see what them are, them cylinders, if you look at them, uh, that head has, has a recess cut down in it, like, uh, to make it weaker. Mm -hmm. So if this happens, instead of blowing the studs out of the cylinder, see, it'll just blow the head off too, mm -hmm. you know, and, uh, but it didn't, just where it happened, the engine wasn't pulling hard enough to blow the piston out of it. It just went up there and busted the head in five pieces, and reared the studs back a little bit. Like out there, we had to put new studs in it, and everything. And I have another one, another one that came from the five. Since we're on that subject of calamity and events that happened, this one is sounding interesting too. Um, the version cone. On the stack, the arms that hold the cone apparently yeah. got ate away to the yeah. point of where they yeah. they weren't there anymore. And yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Cone fell down into the it, fell yeah. down into the stack. Uh, what? 
I don't remember just exactly happened like that. Now he might be thinking about that Heisler. Well, it could have been Heisler. But that, but the, that cone did happen to all of them. Them legs would eat off, and the cone would drop over sideways, and it make the engine smoke, and it mm. wouldn't steam as good. But, but that Heisler one time, you have a, a, a inner pipe that comes up from your, mm -hmm. and then your cone mounts on that. Yep. Well, that thing eat off down right to, right down to stack base. And fell over like that in there. In there. And it was a fan trip, and we went up there to, uh, uh, well, coming up out of Cass, it wouldn't steam right. And it, uh, from about the upper crossing on, and then the smoke got to going out stack wrong. So we got up there and, and looked down in there, and that was, uh, uh, we seen the problem. So we thought if we'd pry that thing up out of there and just throw it off the side track. You know, and then of course the outside part of the stack was still there, and you know that thing wouldn't do nothing. You you take out with it, and time you got from here, just cross the road over the steam, it just start going down. Wouldn't steam at all. So we went up in the gum field. It was some pan trip. We got up there about the gravel pile. I was about halfway yep. up the straight there. Done a couple run bys for him, so he just went back to town. Then wasn't no wasn't no going on, and uh, but but. Uh, but like I say, I've had that happen on pie, but that, that part didn't break off or the cone would fall over sideways, you know. I'll tell you another story. Uh, one time we, uh, the pusher engine broke down, hmm. and uh, we uh, uh, went up to, uh, we just got out of cast a little ways, and I can't remember what happened to it, but anyhow, they put them all on one car, so we left there, and and boy, I'm telling you, like up there below Whittaker, just right in the corner, and I believe the Blue Jay lit on, she stopped and up over there, and then we got on up, and then we got up there, left up out of the water hole, and then up there at mile post eight, there a, was a hump right there, it was right down, right in the corner, and then right on the pop again. We got hit the ball knob grade, and uh, Went up there the first time. Went up there and got up there. If I could have went first from here, that wall further, it went on, and uh, that gone thing slipped on me, flew up, mm -hmm. and uh, just the minute it slipped, was going so slow it stopped. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's it. Just you count the puffs, you know. Mm -hmm. So we uh, dropped back down the hill, and uh, I was a rock up there about that big, uh, uh, just looked like a river rock laying out out the bank. And if it ever went to that rock, it gone. Well, went back down, come back up again. It didn't go two foot further than it did that when that thing slipped, but that time she just stalled out. And look, there was a rock about first from here, that there chair, right there. Mm -hmm. So, Gerald Castle, he was a conductor, but that was before we had radios in the engine. And I told that front brakeman to come back, and I told the same out there, and I told Gerald, I said, just well, that's how my mouth. I said, he ain't gonna go up here, ain't no use go back down there again. He'll come right back here, same place, and stop. And uh, so he let about 50 people walk. Went back down, and the old thing just come up, marched straight on up the top. <laughs> 50 people. Mm -hmm. And uh, But uh, they all thought it was part of the show. <laughs> A lot of them. But... <laughs> nice. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. I was one of my most memorable times. That happened. Mm -hmm. Well, a couple times, but, but that I only stalled out with it that one time. That where it didn't it had just just too much on it. 